What's up guys, C Skills here, and today I am bringing you another Minecraft tutorial. So guys, let's jump right into it. So a few episodes ago, or a few videos ago, I had a request to do a pin lever because I did a I just put a lever next uh, next to it to uh, kind of show a input where you could put an input or something like that. And it was a hidden entrance. So to make this even more hidden, I have decided to uh, make four different hidden uh, inputs. So the first one, you just put a redstone dust down. It gets uh, it gets powered, and it triggers this, which leads to this piston. So this one is pretty self-explanatory. I can destroy that just to show you even more. So this is the block that the redstone goes on. Let's just, let's take out these walls just for demonstration. But I need the only two blocks I need are this block and this block in the wall, and it has to be a corner for this one to work. So, or or you could have just a random block sticking out if you really wanted to. But to have this work, you just put it right there, and this. This redstone gets lit from this torch. It it powers this block, which the repeater picks that up, sends it to this block, and powers the piston, and the piston pushes it out to you so you can walk in. Now, I don't have... I haven't hooked this up to any doors or anything, or any outputs yet, but you can do it off of this. You can do it off of this block. You can do it pretty much anywhere, uh, but... You can, but it's pretty much up to you to figure out where the door is going to go. Now this next one is pretty, it's a lot simpler, and it's a lot more, uh, it kind of shows a lot, what's happening a lot easier. So you could just have to have a redstone torch, put it on the wall, and then, it ha and then it's just like that. So off of here, it creates a one tick, so this re uh, pushes the block out, but it doesn't retract it and vice versa. So if I put this down again, it'll turn on. And if I put it down again, it'll turn off. So it's kind of like a lever in a sense, but not really a lever. I like this one more personally. It's a little bit more expensive, but I like it j a whole lot better because you can have a flat wall. You can get a uh, lever type output. So let's move on to this next one real quick. Oh, let me show you guys all of the redstone. So it's three sticky pistons, unless you count this one, then it's four, and then two redstone blocks, and that is pretty much it, guys. So this uh, torch, when it puts gets put down, it sends a, uh, it powers this block, which powers this piston, which pushes this block forward, and uh, allows this uh, piston to retract and power this one, and this uh, piston pushes this out, pushing the lever off, and there's that one. So let's move over to this next one. Now this one is once again a redstone one, and it is it can be flush with the wall. You can have it like this, but I have decided not to. Actually, we'll just go like this anyways because you can still see the output. So you just put down your redstone dust, and it pushes it up just like that. And you can see it turns on, and it turns off. It turns on, then it turns off. So this one also has the lever function, just like that one. Now you can put this on two ticks, so it doesn't have the uh, so it doesn't have the uh, lever action, but that it, I I like the lever action better. You can also do that with this one as well if you want to put a repeater right here and set it to one tick or two ticks. I forget which one. I don't think it really matters on this one. You may be able to send it to one tick, but just to be safe, I'd set it to two. So a repeater right here going into this piston, and you'd be able to make a button like uh, input. And this is the last one. You just have to have two stairs. Now I don't have any stairs to match the uh, the iron blocks, so I just use regular uh, spruce stairs. So now you don't need any redstone stuff. So I'll click it with my hand. And now you just want to go to this left one and find where the hitbox disappears. So the hitbox is there, if as you guys can see the outline. And then if I move over, it disappears. You, you can tell easier uh, when it's separate. Uh, when it's separated by something the same in design and then I just left click and If I can get it again, there we go. There's the lever and I turned on both of these lights look back and I turned them both off So the, the way this one works is kind of like a glitch you can see through this half I don't know why don't ask me why 
but it reads it as you can walk up the stairs this way but not this way so it's kind of weird and it's been around for a little while but this is definitely one of the easiest ways and simplest ways to create a hidden uh, a hidden entrance or a hidden input so this one is super simple as well and it def it is obviously a lever but you could replace it with a button as well it's just kind of harder to hit but you could also angle it uh, to where you could hit it easier than uh, easier than over here you could put it like you can move the block over here and pretty much this only this is here so I could destroy this and destroy this and there would be no other redstone no other redstone in the corners anything like that oh and I didn't explain how this one worked so obviously this uh, lever powers this block which powers this redstone dust which this repeater pulls out of that block and it powers this uh, redstone dust which pushes this uh, piston over and it creates that one tick thing uh, T flip flop if you want to get technical with it and it powers this uh, and I don't understand I don't completely understand how this piston gets powered it kind of confuses me but as you can see there's no there's no redstone or anything under here so I don't completely understand how this piston gets pushed but I'm not gonna complain it works and <laughs> so I'm not complaining but anyways those are the four redstone uh, inputs hidden redstone inputs so anyways guys if you enjoyed this video please leave a like if you enjoyed this video please uh, please subscribe to stay up to date with all of my videos and series and stuff like that and I'll see you guys in the next video